Hi there, this is Srikant Dasari. So in this lesson, uh, we are going to introduce ourselves to uh, programming uh, in C++. Okay. So first, let me launch the IDE. So the IDE here we are going to use is Visual Studio 2012 Express Edition. Okay. To be more specific, uh, it's a Visual Studio uh, 2012 Express for Windows Desktop. Okay. So this is the IDE which we are going to use uh, for this uh, course. Okay, so the the Visual Studio Express uh, 2012 for Windows Desktop is an uh, integrated development environment, uh, which is of, uh, which is delivered by Microsoft at free of cost uh, for hobbyist uh, programmers. Okay, so for professional programmers and uh, for those soft and other software uh, engineers, we are going to use. Uh, uh, ex, uh, professional edition or uh, enterprise edition so there are other versions uh, for them so for students and uh, hobbyists and uh, learners uh, the visual studio express is very uh, quite good uh, to do uh, to learn programming uh, uh, from the wonderful ideas uh, from microsoft okay so here uh, in windows uh, desktop uh, 20 dollar express for windows desktop it's not only meant for uh, uh, just uh, for c++ programming it's it can also uh, do a variety of uh, uh, programming uh, in this id okay so like visual c sharp we observe uh, in the front page here welcome page visual c sharp visual basic visual c++ and etc and etc okay so our uh, sole purpose uh, uh, in our course is to learn C++ programming okay so Visual C++ is the ID uh, or the language uh, which is created by Microsoft okay so it supports all the standard C++ uh, programming and apart from that it has some extra features okay so first let us look how to obtain this ID from uh, from the internet okay so first let us go to the web browser here, okay let's go to Google so if you want to download and install uh, you need to go there are three different ways okay so the first and foremost, let's first you have to type in the Google Visual Studio 2013 or you can just vomit the 2013 and just type here. okay. So it takes you to first website which is uh, visualstudio.com, okay. So there you find the most recent version of the Visual Studio Express here which is 2013. Uh, so if you scroll down a bit, uh, here it is. Uh, the Visual Studio 2013 Express for Windows Desktop. Okay, so if you click on the download button, so it leads, it takes, it takes you to the download option here. Okay, so directly from here you can uh, install from the web or you can uh, install from the DVD uh, ISO ISO image here. Okay, so this is the uh, first way. Uh, this in this way, uh, doing this way is very complicated here. Okay, so if you click like this, uh, it asks you for uh, some registration and uh, and all those things. Okay. And if you fill the form and you obtain the registration key, uh, so then you can happily uh, download the software here. Okay. So apart from that, uh, there is another way to do uh, to download this one. That is from uh, this website here. Okay. Hans Hanselman.com. Okay. So he is a for, he is an employee of Microsoft uh, who maintains a good site here. Okay. So here, if you uh, enter into this site uh, and if you scroll a bit, uh, you find the option here. Okay, so Visual Studio 2013 uh, Express for Windows Desktop. So here, he made it very uh, comfortable to click on one click download here. Okay, so just click on that. Uh, so since I already downloaded, it's uh, asking me again here. Okay, so you can uh, start downloading and you can happily install on your uh, desktop PC and do the programming part here. Okay. So the last way uh, to obtain the software um, Express editions from uh, uh, from the internet is to go to the Microsoft website directly here. Okay, so if you go to Microsoft.com, uh, there also there is a link uh, to download uh, this software. Okay, so Windows Express. The every time it shows the most recent version of your Windows Express. Okay, Express 2013 uh, for Windows Desktop. Click on the download button. It leads to a downloads page, and you can just Select the option and uh, click next. It starts downloading the software for you. Okay, so that is uh, one different way. So also, uh, if you want the exact version I am using here, so since I am using here uh, 2012 Express. Okay, so if you want, if you want this one, so the reason I am using this 2012 Express here, here because uh, it's a bit lightweight uh, when compared to 2013. Okay, 
So at the end of the day, the ID should not matter. The whatever the ID you use, whether it is 2012 Express or 2013 Express for Windows 7 or for Windows 8, or if you are comfortable uh, with VC++ 2005 Express editions, at the end of the day, the code we write is same and one and all in, in all the IDs. Okay. So if you want exactly the same ID, so what you what you want to do is go to your web browser and just copy the entire thing here. Okay. Copy and paste this in the paste it in the search bar and just make it uh, 2013 into 2012 and press enter. Okay. So then the Microsoft.com's uh, uh, download center will lead to a certain uh, set of links here. Okay. So through that I can select the 2012 uh, Windows desktop option or the search result there and you can click on download and you can uh, proceed with the download by clicking this option and uh, by clicking the next button here okay so there is there is a uh, one different way so there are a lot of different ways to obtain the software uh, one the, the one from visualstudio.com or else from microsoft.com or else from hansel hanselman.com okay so whatever the, that doesn't matter to you so you can obtain the software and you can install your pc and you can do the programming okay so coming back to our ID, so before uh, going, uh, starting doing to program, uh, starting the programming, uh, first we have to create a project here, okay. To do that, uh, click on the file, new project, okay. So as soon as you do that, uh, you get uh, some options here, okay, some options in the form of tabs. So here uh, in the installed uh, templates section, uh, as, we have, as we have said that uh, the Visual Studio 2012 Express for Windows Desktop is used to do not only C++ but you can do programming, uh, can develop desktop applications using uh, Visual Basic, Visual C Sharp and etc and etc. Okay. So from the install templates, uh, first go to the VC++ section and click on the general tab here. Okay. So from in the right hand side you get two options here. So for select the empty project and let's give some name to our project here. Okay. So let's say hello world. Okay. Since we are building very simple projects, I am just saying the name of the project as Hello World. So you can give whatever you want it and press enter. Okay. So what the Visual Studio 2012 uh, Express uh, for Windows Desktop does for us is it creates a project with some folder structure here. Okay. So the most important uh, folder that matters to us is this source files folder here. Okay, so here all the source files, whatever you are going to use, uh, are going to stored in this folder. Okay, so first we have to create a plain uh, source file uh, to write our program. To do that, right click on the source file section, add new item, and from the code uh, tab, select C++ file. Okay. So let's name our uh, source file as hello.cpp to make it simple, okay, and press enter, okay. So what uh, what happens then is it creates a just normal uh, plain .cpp file if you observe the name at the top left uh, corner here, shows the name, okay. So let's go to full screen here, view and full screen to make our uh, little bit room for programming here, okay. So the first and foremost, uh, so in any uh, programming language like C or C++, starts with the header files, okay. So I hope you're all uh, well versed with C programming. So in the same way, uh, you, you need to add some header files or preprocessor directives to the program. So preprocessor directives uh, helps the compiler to include some files which uh, includes some header files, okay, to be more specific, which contains some library functions which the user or programmer is going to use in his uh, in his program or source code, okay. So first let's add uh, the header file here, so hash include. So the header file uh, equivalent to uh, C programming in C++ is IO stream, okay. So there we are using uh, stdio.h, okay. So here we, here we have IO stream, okay. So in the same way, so let's add uh, so another header file, conio dodge. Okay. So next thing is main. Okay. So main is the function. So where the execution uh, starts. Okay. So between uh, main uh, function and and after the header files, we we need to add a small statement. So which is using namespace. 
so using namespace std okay so what is this using namespace and std so we will understand in the subsequent chapters for the time being you uh, think of uh, namespace as a group grouping object okay so you're all grouping uh, under one you're all you're grouping all your functions and all your code under a single namespace here, okay so think of a namespace for the time being like this okay so next we have the main function which we are very familiar uh, as we have some knowledge about uh, C programming so so the execution of the program always begins with the main function here okay so even though you write uh, 10,000 lines of code uh, the execution of the program begins the main is like an entry point for the execution of the program okay so next let us write uh, a printf equivalent in our C++ programming which is C out okay so there in the, C, in the C programming we are using a printf statement to output our uh, text to the screen output screen okay so here we are using a C out statement here okay so let's print some small message hello world welcome to C++ okay some stupid message okay so let's have uh, get ch which we are very familiar the, the purpose the sole purpose of get ch is to make the output constant okay so until the user uh, uh, gives some input from the keyboard okay so now in order to run this program you can do it in two ways okay. first select the debug uh, option from the main menu and select start without debugging here okay it runs and compiles and uh, shows you the output so in order to view it a little bit bigger let's change increase the font here okay so whatever you type in your uh, co statement okay so whatever you typed in the co statement is just displaying the, the same thing as the output here okay so welcome to hello world welcome to c++ okay so to revise to summarize whatever we have written a small program so first we have created a project hello world and we have created a new source file hello.cpp by just right clicking on the source files folder and add new item here okay so then we have added a couple of header files okay so the header files here uh, act like a so header files here um, show some reference okay so here we have used a c out uh, object here okay so which is uh, defined somewhere uh, under the iOS stream so here we have used get ch which is defined under the conio.h okay so that's the sole purpose of header files okay so it includes some uh, header files which contains the library functions okay header file section so then we have our main so if you observe there is a difference between the main which we have which we have used in a c the where where we are uh, writing a wide main uh, that means that uh, that does not return any data type. so here in c++ the default return type for main is int okay so that you have to keep in mind and whenever you are writing a program uh, you need to add uh, int main okay so that is according to c99 standard of, uh, there are some standards uh, there are some standards organizations which uh, universally uh, specify some points in order to store in order to write uh, the programs universally in the same way okay so for that reason uh, here we have inserted a main and return zero is omitted okay that is not necessary so we have inside the main we have just nothing uh, done too much just we had a co statement uh, just to print the message hello world welcome to c++ okay so again if you want to run the program just press f5 or start without debugging you get the output the same okay so see you in the next lesson goodbye